ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಎಜುಕೇಷನ್ ಆನ್ ಕ್ಲೌಡ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ನನ್ನ ಹೆಸರು ನಿಮಿಲಾ ಸೊ ಇವತ್ತಿನ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಪಿ ಯು ಸಿನ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಆದಂಥ ಬಯೋಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕನ್ಸರ್ವೇಷನ್ನ ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸನ್ನು ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗೋಣ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಬಯೋಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಅಕರ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೀಷೀಸ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಬಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇನ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ರೋಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಇದು ಬರೀ ಸ್ಪೀಷೀಸ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಅಲ್ಲ ಈವನ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಹೈಯರ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಫ್ ದ ಬಯೋಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿನ್ ಅ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ನಾವು ಬಯೋಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಆಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಬೈ ಎಡ್ವರ್ಡ್ ವಿಲ್ಸನ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕಂಬೈನ್ಡ್ ಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಅಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಲೆವೆಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಯೋಲಾಜಿಕಲ್ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಯಾವುದೇ ಒಂದು ಜೀವಿಯ ಬಯೋಲಾಜಿಕಲ್ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸೇಷನ್ ಆಗಬೇಕಾದರೂ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅ ಬಯೋಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ನಾವು ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಯೋಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಒಂದು ಜೆನೆಟಿಕ್ ಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಜೆನೆಟಿಕ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಪೀಷೀಸ್ ಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ದ ಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಅಟ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೀಷೀಸ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಕೊಲಾಜಿಕಲ್ ಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಅಟ್ ದ ಎಕೋ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ನಾವು ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಮಿಲಿಯನ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕವರ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ನು ಡಿಸ್ಕವರ್ ಆಗಬೇಕಾಗಿರುವಂಥ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯನಿಮಲ್ ಸ್ಪೀಷೀಸು ಇಷ್ಟು ಮಿಲಿಯನ್ ಮಟ್ಟಕ್ಕೆ ಇದೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೋರ್ ಸ್ಪೀಷೀಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬೀನ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕವರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಟೆಂಪರೇಟ್ ರೀಜನ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಕಂಪೇರ್ಡ್ ಟು ದ ಟ್ರಾಪಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ನಾರ್ಮಲಿ ಟ್ರಾಪಿಕಲ್ ರೀಜನ್ಸಿಗಿಂತ ಅಂದರೆ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಆರ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಂಟಾರ್ಟಿಕ್ಸಿಗಿಂತ ಟೆಂಪರೇಟ್ ರೀಜನ್ಸ್ನಲ್ಲಿನೇ ಈ ಡಿಸ್ಕವರೀಸ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇರೋದು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಅನ್ ಎಸ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಬೈ ರಾಬರ್ಟ್ ಮೇ ಗ್ಲೋಬಲ್ ಸ್ಪೀಷೀಸ್ ಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಈಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಮಿಲಿಯನ್ ನಾವು of the total species discovered so far 70% are the animals and only 22% comprises of plants and of the plants 70% are insects again and in india it is 2.4% of the world's land and 8.1% of the total species diversity so india not only has human diversities but it also has the species diversity too and according to may's estimation 78% ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬಯೋಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಯೆಟ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕವರ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ಸೊ ಫಾರ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕವರ್ಡ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಒನ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟೂ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕವರ್ಡ್ ನಾವು ಅಪ್ಲೈಯಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟು ಇಂಡಿಯಾಸ್ ಬಯೋಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಫಿಗರ್ಸ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಅ ಸ್ಕೋಪ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಕವರಿ ಆಫ್ ಒನ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಸ್ಪೀಷೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ತ್ರೀ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಸ್ಪೀಷೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆ್ಯನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ now patterns of this biodiversity how are these diversities discovered so one do latitudinal gradients the plants and animals are not distributed evenly worldwide andre yavude onda jeevige agli adarade ada habitat irutte it is not divided equally and then not all the red indians or not all the animals can survive in all environments adarade ada vatavarana beku now the diversity of the living form is going to decrease as we go from equator towards the poles so equator ninda navu melakke hodaga the diversity will uh, decrease and a huge amount of plants and animals are concentrated in the tropical regions because of the following reasons so what are those reasons one do tropical environments is less seasonal and almost constant all the time and it is predictable as compared to the temperate environment so normally rainy season irutte winter irutte summer irutte but when it comes to tropical region it is only filled with ice so it has a constant temperature and we can predict so ondu hima parvata ide andaga we expect flood there i mean the icy flood or we expect a extreme cold temperature there so it is predictable environment not like our temperate zones isn't it now tropics will receive the major part of the solar energy which will contribute to great productivity now speciation which is dependent upon time so is speciation no time na mele evolute aagta hogutte and tropical areas will have remained undisturbed for millions of years unlike like the temperate regions so tropic regions nalli ee ondu speciation no undisturbed agirutte but at temperate regions it is going to get disturbed every now and then because of the external environmental conditions and when have experienced which have experienced frequent glaciations in the past as
where S is the species richness and A is the area and Z is the slope of the line which is the regression coefficient and C is the Y intercept. Now value of Z is found to lie between a range of 0.1 to 0.2 comparatively smaller areas like the countries while large areas such as entire continents the slope of the line is much steeper with Z value lying from 0.6 to 1.2. Next is the important bio, importance of biodiversity and loss of biodiversity. So basically what is the importance of biodiversity on earth? Why is biodiversity necessary? So there is no exact answer to this question but experiments conducted by many of the ecologists have demonstrated that a system with a greater biodiversity is very much stable than a, the unstabilized environment and it has a greater productivity. So this is why we need uh, biodiversity and on a longer run biodiversity is related with the overall health of our ecosystem and survival of human race on the earth. So this biodiversity is what enables the humans to get adapted to the changing environment and characteristics of a stable community. How does a stable community get recognized? So it should not show much variation in the productivity from year to year. Andre, one varsha dinna inond varsha ke generation difference anna torsta hogbardo. Then that type of community will be a stable community. Now it must be either resistant or resilient to the occasional disturbances. So it should be resistance. Resilient andre, it should show only slight changes, not a drastic change. And it must be resistant to the invasion by alien species. Alien species are nothing but these foreign particles. So, yaudadru hosa species bandhu invade maaddaga, invade maaddaga, they must resist that. Now, next is the loss of biodiversity. How have we lost the biodiversity? Because of the human activities. Now, the natural wealth is getting lost very rapidly. Why? Because the last 20 years have seen the loss of 27 species respectively. And some of the causes of this loss are habitat loss and fragmentation. So, namma pranigala jagavan nella navu occupy maatta maatta. We have lost so many of the species, and that is the reason why forest animals or wild animals are entering into the cities and causing harm. And this is the major cause for the loss of biodiversity, wherein habitat destruction, which is deforestation, is caused by human beings and this is increasing the pollution one do deforestation in the pollution or just act to the and the more uh, loss of plants and animals is taking place e leech anodu eegina idrali ilve illa it has almost become extinct because everywhere there is pollution and leeches cannot survive under an polluted environment and over exploitation wherein humans due to their greed and increased exploitation for natural resources have contributed to the enlargement of commercially important species of plants and animals. So, I will ask you that if you plants and animals commercially important, only those are given the priorities and the rest all are destroyed which is ultimately causing the exploitation. Examples like species of stellar sea cow and passenger pigeon have been extinct because of the over exploitation by humans. So, then over agi exploit maata maata they have got extinct and alien species invasion. So, this is the unintentional or deliberate introduction of the alien species which causes the declination of the indigenous species and the alien species bandhu iruvanta species anna destruct maata hogata. Example is a Nile perch which introduced Lake Victoria which led to the extension of more than 200 species of the kickle fish in the lake. So, in Nile Parchanna, Lake Victoria Dalli Bittaga, more than 200 species of these fishes got extinct. Now, coming to the co-extension. So, co-extension is when a plant or an animal becomes extinct other than plant or animal which is dependent on it on an obligatory way will also become extinct. And then, bari a species ashtela, adra mele complete agi depend adanta species u kuda extinct agata. Example is in the case of plant pollinator mutualism. So, the extension of one partner will eventually lead to the extension of the others also. 
plant pollinator is something like the pollinators which are uh, mutualized with the plants. So, if plant pollinators uh, uh, extinct akta ho daga, a species ho kuda extinct akta ho gata. Now, biodiversity conversation, conservation. So, biodiversity conservation is very much necessary because many of the commercially important products are obtained by natural sources like food, fiber, wood and countless of industrial products. Industrial products are most probably obtained from the nature and certain activities and products which cannot be accomplished without the help of nature like production of oxygen and pollination procedure. So, we can we have to conserve all these because we cannot do all these procedures pollination naminda sadhyayla and production of oxygen is mainly by plants and trees and uh, humans cannot produce oxygen and intangible benefits like the aesthetic pleasure and uh, something like uh, a pleasure which is derived from nature andre namma vandu pleasantness igoskara we shouldn't destruct the trees we should get the pleasure as it is from the trees and conserving the species we share our planet with and passing the rich legacy of biodiversity to our future generation in our is our ethical duty. So, something like sharing and caring is what we have to do and is our duty to do. So, a species and now protect smart because we have to provide their environment to them and we have to limit our space to us. Now, next how can it be conserved? Vandu. In situ conversation. So, in order to conserve biodiversity bet in a better way, some of the world's biodiversity hotspots with high degree of biodiversity and endemism have been identified and they are protected. And in India, biosphere reserves and wildlife sanctuaries, national parks are built for this purpose to save the animals and the extincting plants. And exit to conservation is where the threatened species of plants and animals are taken out of their habitats and are kept in special settings as in the zoological parks, botanical gardens and wildlife sanctuaries. Now, nowadays the gametes of the endangered species can also be preserved viable by methods like the crypt, uh, sorry, cryopreservation. So, cryopreservation is nothing but the freezing of those gametes can be fertilized in vitro followed by the propagation through tissue culture methods and similarly seeds are also preserved in seed banks. So, these are all the conservative methods which are implemented by us to save the endangered species. Thank you.